Well, Work It Wednesday is all about how to look pretty on those Zoom calls like we're doing right now with Miss Katie Cotton. Katie, you've nailed it. Whatever you've done to your face looks great. Oh, thank you. I'm, I mean, I kept it really, really basic today because I didn't want to do anything more to myself today than what I was going to talk about. Um, I wear more makeup than this sometimes, and then other days I don't wear any makeup at all. But obviously, if you're going to be on camera, um, even if it's just a Zoom call, just that little extra like pickup, that boost in confidence, um, I just think it really can mean a lot, especially if I mean, I'm not, not talking about Zoom calls with like your girlfriend or your mom, but like when you have to do like a meeting for work, I think it's important to look your best. Because have you noticed like you'll be looking, you'll be like, oh gosh, what is this? <laughs> Exactly. And like when you're doing a Zoom meeting, it's a it's a meeting for work. It's about business matters. You don't want people to be distracted. So it's really about looking your best, making yourself feel confident, but then also not distracting the person you're talking to. I love it. That is a great point. So what are a few things that we could do? Okay. So I always tell people to start with concealer. Under eyes get really dark. Of course, a lot of us are like watching Netflix to like two in the morning right now and our sleep schedules are all kinds of crazy so concealer can be really really important and i always say for concealer you want to focus on this area right here so like dot your concealer here and then blend it out into a triangle and that's really going to brighten up your face i like to use a concealer that's um you know just like a shade lighter than my skin because i want to brighten the area um, cameras tend to make your face go really flat and wash you out. So we want to add shape and color, but it doesn't need to be this big, huge makeup routine. So starting with concealer, blending that out. Um, if you use foundation regularly, just, you know, blend that in just your standard foundation. And then you want to add shape back to your face. So use that concealer over your eyes. If you wear um, eyeshadow usually, go ahead and do that. But if you don't, just use the concealer over your eyes. And then with a little brush, maybe similar to one that's like this, um, you can take that um, bronzer that you use on your cheeks, shape your face, just you kind of basically go in a three and an E. And then you can take that same bronzer or blush and just kind of blush over your the top of your eye a little bit. And that will give it some color. So now you've got your shape. You've got um, concealed under eye. Brows are important. Um, it's not going to, the camera's not going to pick up every little thing. So you don't need to worry about like plucking your eyebrows and getting the straights, but a little fill in could be pretty key. So um, you don't have to, obviously, we're not going out and buying new products. So if you never do your brows, just use a neutral um, eyeshadow color, something that's a little bit on the cool side, like a cooler brown. Even a blonde can use like a cool taupe color. And then just a little brush and just fill in particularly um, the tail, like, you know, the outer part of your eye. And then you want to put a little bit of lip on because you don't want your lips to disappear and just be a bunch of teeth. So um, I usually say go, I mean, unless you wear a bright lip normally, just go something neutral, something that you don't have to fuss with. I just used my favorite lip liner, which is a little bit darker than my natural lip. And then I used gloss because gloss will kind of brighten things up, kind of makes the lips look a little fuller. Um, and it's not something that I feel like if I, you know, touch my mouth by mistake, I'm gonna smear lipstick across my face. So those are, oh, and the mascara, put mascara on. You have that mascara, right? That might just you make gotta you have that. <laughs> if you don't curl your eyelashes, maybe this is a good time to start because it's gonna help open up your eye. I mean, when you're talking on a Zoom camera, people are looking straight at your eyes. So yeah. um, definitely want to pick them up. If you wear eyeliner, put eyeliner on. If you don't, don't try something new. You still want to look like yourself. You don't want to distract people by looking, you know, like you just got out of bed. But you don't want to distract them with them being like, why do you have so much makeup on? <laughs> you know, so it's just making enhancing yourself. Katie, you rock. I can't wait till you're back in person and we can come get all of our professional makeup done. Again. Absolutely. All right, girl. Thank you so much. We'll keep following you on social for all your great tips. Thank you so much.